I'm about to start in the tangible hands-on design of the goshawk. There's lots of really cool tools to use when in the design process. And one that um, is really neat is the Fibonacci sequence, and that's the golden rule. So watch all the way to the end because when we get um, when we get through it to that point, you'll see how to use the Fibonacci sequence when you're um, want to find exact proportions that feel really natural when you look at them. So, so that's a cool thing. Diving in into that pure focus of creation. Let's do it. Have you ever wondered how artists create their art forms? If you're up for it, I'll take you with me through my artistic process from beginning to end of projects with my Looking Into the Light series, sparking that light of inspiration and creativity inside of you is possible when you open to it. Join me in handcrafting an extraordinary life by joyfully creating with the light. I'm Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. That's so cool. Have you ever been looked at by a goshawk like that? <laughs> I turn to adjust the camera and I look out here and um, there's uh, turkey vultures flying right here right now. Super cool because it's the wing spread that I'm interested in. The turkey vultures. They're amazing. They, they, you have to let go. You have to let go. And they transform the yuckiest of the yuck. And they help me so much because it gives me an opportunity to bless and love myself even further. And I so, oh, there's more coming now that I so appreciate it. But right now in this moment, my interest it is no matter what bird, but particularly the bigger ones, the spread on the tip of the wings is what's, oh, and there's a hawk. There's a hawk right there. So multiple turkey vultures. Here's, and let me get this guy. I love it so much. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And the essence of the hawk too, which is the goshawk that we're doing is that they bring messages. And, and so, you know, when I see turkey vultures, they allow me to clear and clean my energy even more. And, and having a hawk fly in right at that moment is super freaking cool. So I love it. I love it. So we're on track. I'm going back inside and bringing that essence and focus into, um, into what we're doing because it's all the same. So super, super freaking cool. Once again, showing that the back side, the back side needs to be as perfect as the front side because they're both going to be visible on this, which is what I do anyways, but it just makes me think the next layer deeper. And with this design, not only am I getting the groupings of the feathers, but the, this design is only flat. So, and what has to happen is I have to um, work the design so it runs the depth of the sculpture also. So you can't just map this straight and make it work. It has to, it has to have its, its 3D form to work the depth also. Super cool though. I think I've got most of the groupings. I don't know how to accomplish this part, but I have an idea, but um, I won't know until I get my hands on it, but this is gonna be really, really cool and very, very much a challenge. What is a little bit interesting is this notch at the very ends of these long fingers. There is this, there's this notch, so I have to make sure I get those in there because 
That's super cool. Oh yeah, I can see it on here too. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna mark that in there. Super cool. Okay, so here's what happened. So I'm trying to find the scythe feather lines in here. And um, what's happening is that I was getting dizzy because of my glasses, because they're for close up. But what I found is because the way that this digital imprinting um, blown up is happening, the um, when I put <laughs> my glasses on and I stand back, it shows me the complete group groupings and definition in individual flower feathers. That is so freaking cool. So now we move to math to create the actual depth in relation to the length of the wings. So we move to the Fibonacci sequence and that will help me with determining all the rest of the measurements that need to be done. Moving right along. For those of you who don't know the Fibonacci sequence, and this is a pretty seriously good tip of the day. And the Fibonacci sequence is how the mathematics are in the divine scheme of how nature works. So the spiral of the seashell, the, um, the spider's web, the distance um, of an arm in relation to each individual's body, all of that math is different, but it's very specific to the, the individual creature or item or whatever it is that nature creates, including leaves and branching and trees. It's, it's the, the exact right proportions um, that feel really good when you look at them. So if I'm ever at a loss about how tall to make something, how thick to make something, I always fall back to the Fibonacci sequence because it works. I'm taking the total length and I prefer to work in centimeters because it's just easier. It's just easier for me to do but I'm going to take the total length. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we're right at 70 centimeters. We take 70 centimeters divided by 1.618, and you hit the equal sign, and your first ratio division is 43. And then if you keep just touching the equal sign, drops it down to 26, 16, 10. And you can go all the way down to teeny, teeny, tiny. Okay, so you remember that circle that we did in the very beginning? And, um, and I, I drew my circle line and it felt really good. Well, I just checked the Fibonacci sequence on here and get a load of this. Look, I put my thing right to it and I get the six point, I'm at 6.4. 6.4 and my Fibonacci sequence is 6.3. So that is when you let go and you allow the flow of the project to move through you, we you get that kind of validation. That is so cool. <laughs> so fun. I'm so grateful for that. So grateful. That's pretty cool.